Welcome to Tech Talk. Today we're talking with Mitch from Bike Hub. We're going to be focusing on tyres today. Mitch, what can you tell us about mountain bike tyres for pros and those who are new to the sport? Sure, I think the first thing, Caroline, is that anyone who wants to get a mountain bike has to understand what they're going to use it for. Now, whether you're going to use it for commuting or, or on the road or bike paths or whether you're going to use it off-road and in racing sort of positions, mm -hmm. that's going to make your decision on, uh, on what tyres you get uh, a lot easier to make. Uh, there's a lot of different types of tyres you can get. Uh, you can get a semi-slick or a slick tyre versus what you would typically think of as being a knobbly mountain bike tyre. Um, certainly uh, when you get a slick or a semi-slick you're going to generally be using that on bike paths or on the road and commuting and that kind of stuff. Mm. Go for a more treaded sort of compound when you're, when you're going to be off-road and when you're going to be racing and, and, and those kind of things or whenever you're going to use it off-road. So those kind of things you have to keep in mind when you're getting a tyre. Um, there's lots of different types of tyres as well and obviously you know, they range in price a huge amount. So working out your budget as well is important. Certainly you do get more for your money the more money you spend, you tend to get uh, a softer compound rubber in the mm -hmm. tyre, yeah. uh, which is going to help with rolling resistance, whether you're on the road or you're off the road, and also with grip when you're off the road, which is the most important part of mountain biking. Okay, the other thing that's probably most noticeable from uh, the cheaper sort of mountain bike tyre to, uh, to the dearer end is that you tend to go from a wire beaded tyre to, uh, to what we generally call a folding tyre or a Kevlar beater tyre. Basically that's a lot of fancy words for saying that um, a wire beater tyre is rigid so you can't actually fold it up because through the bead of the tyre it's actually got little uh, steel, steel beads through it right. which when we put a tube in here and pump it up that's what holds the, the tyre to the rim. Mm -hmm. Okay, In a Kevlar beater tyre you can see it's able to fold Okay, and it's actually Kevlar through or Kevlar strips through there that hold the bead of the tyre to the rim. Right. Okay, now when you go to a Kevlar, obviously that's a more expensive material. It also um, drops a lot of weight, uh, and actually the performance of the tyre improves because the tyre holds its shape a lot better, and it's not deformed by this uh, by the steel uh, bead of the tyre. Okay. This is another interesting tyre and an interesting technology in mountain bikes and in tyres at the moment, it's tubeless. Which means that we don't have to use a tube for it, you do have to use a sealant like Hutchison's Fast Air or, or, or something similar. But that means that we don't have a tube, again reduces weight, again the tyre does its job as it's meant to do it. Okay, so that means reduced flats and, and a lot of other things like that. Okay, so moving on to road bikes now, what do you have for us? Well again, there are a lot of different types in terms of a road bike tyre. Uh, it is a little bit simpler because we don't have to worry too much about treads on road bikes. Um, certainly we sort of bring in a new topic which is TPI or threads per inch in terms of road bikes. So you often hear a salesman or, or read about a bike tyre that has a TPI. Okay, the more TPI or threads per inch, the better. Basically that's because they use a thinner tread in the construction of the tyre, mm -hmm. um, which means that they can use more of it, which makes the tyre more supple. It also means that uh, there's less rolling resistance, so it moves faster along, uh, along the road. The downside of that is it tends to wear a lot quicker, okay? So you tend to find your high-end race tyres that they would use in the Tour de France or something like that to have a very high TPI. Right. Okay. Um, lower down the spectrum, you find you've got a much lower TPI. In mountain bikes, we saw that we have a wire beaded tyres as opposed to folding tyres as well. That's exactly the same in, in road as well. And again, we find obviously at the higher end, it's all about reducing weight. So we find that uh, they, they come in a folding tyre. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you so much for being on the show. My pleasure. Anytime.